to get you to the start finish line, Ben Dodge. Off turn number four, they're pretty much evenly matched, but to the outside, it is Gary Padno who applies the pressure, but never count out the talents of Alexandra Fern as she guards the inside lane. Defending champion Lavoy tries to dig in, but to the front goes Padno. In recent weeks, Patnode has been the star of the show, running the upper groove of the racetrack. They swing and they swang as they come off turn number four, but it is still by inches Alexandra Fern. But for how long, Matt, as they head to turn two? And now, by a whisker, it's Alexandra Fern. Lavoy showing some firepower. He is at third, and Dwayne Provost. You usually don't see the best of Provost until the final five laps. But he is in a hurry on the outside of Lavoy. Patno puts that GP fence machine out in front by inches. But Alexandra Fern just keeps digging in on the bottom. Here comes Lavoy. Remember, he started the season strong, and then all of a sudden mechanical woes set in. What will be the story here? Back and forth, side by side, they rumble back to the line. It is Patno. Now, with perhaps the biggest lead we've seen in three circuits around here at Stafford. And he is able to clear Alexandra Fern, but now Lavoy getting busy in car number six. He wanders to the outside. Lavoy with one win so far this year. Provost, he is the point leader looking for his third championship. And Kyle Casagrande, he has struggled in that car since returning to weekly racing. But right now, this is the best he's looked. Looking even better is Lavoy. Lavoy looks like days of old when he won the title here at Stafford. He puts that red number six car to the inside. Off the turn, the red rocket sled slides down below, and it's the Aspen Hills Farms machine to work its magic and take over the runner-up spot. Battle is for third now. Here comes Provost. We talked to the fans about him. He's always a closer. In the beginning of each and every race, he just kind of settles in but that is not the story tonight. He knows that he's got to get to the front and he's got to do it quick and he's doing just that. He says he doesn't race for points. He races to have some fun. And right now he is having a joy ride in the number three position. Gary Patnode in car number 22. That is an old uh, Rob Russell car and he is getting the maximum out of that as they are able to gallop in turn four. They come off turn number four back to the stripe and Patno continues to hit his marks every time by. Halfway down and halfway to go. Meanwhile, Lavoy is there. He sees a little daylight, runs across the back of the car, changes his strategy, but he's got to be very careful, Matt, because Provost is right there in the wings. As Patno is leading, but all over him like pins sticking out of a voodoo doll. Here is Lavoy looking for some magic and he is going to roller coaster his way into the lead. And here is Provost trying to move along with him. He's going to be the tail that wags the dog as he works the inside lane. Meanwhile, they're side by side at a bit per second, but the point of the arrow becomes Lavoie. Back to the stripe they come. Nine circuits up on the board of 15. Less than six laps. It's all going to be history. And Provost has settled back into the runner up spot. Pat Note is still on the podium, but setting in position number three. A tale of two champions at the front of the field. Jeremy Lavoie and Dwayne Provost still racing hard as Pat Node. And what about Matt Clement? He gives it his all every week. He is fourth. Alexandra Fern is fifth. And then it is Casa Grande in six. Let's see if Provost can get close enough to do some damage. When they hit the line, they'll be down to the final four laps. There's no question about it. Clements is the fastest car on the racetrack with a time of 22.502. So uh, Clement is quick, but time is starting to run out. The clock is ticking, and there is no overtime in this game of success called the limited late model division. Defending champion, setting in the number one spot, a former champion in the number two spot, and a guy who wants to be the champion in position number three. And he is still in the hunt. So is the 59 of Matt Clement. But things are getting interesting. Only a cookie crumb separate Lavoie from Provost. Provost, he is trying to submarine his way underneath the six car as they rocket off the turn. 
Lavoie leading, but he has company with two laps to go. Two circuits, one mile left in the competition. They rumble down to the bottom of turn number one. Little smooch to the back bumper. Lavoie has to guard the spot. He comes off the turn well, Matt, but down into turn number three, will Provost be able to close up the gap? Margin between first and second, getting closer and closer. There's the white flag, one lap to go. And Lavoie's mission, protect the inside groove as they thunder into turn number two. Provost is in the neighborhood. He has an opportunity as they go into turn three. Final time into turn number three. Lavoie, the defending champion, Provost nipping at his heels. Provost taps the back bumper off turn number four. They freight train to the line. It's Lavoie to take down the win. Provost in for second, Pat Note for third. As he is able to climb out of the car, and let's go down to Napa Victory Lane and John Gates. Boy, the defending champion, feet on the ground. Number six car was absolutely flying tonight. The Ford Fusion went to the front quick, but I'll tell you what, the 22 and the 88 gave you headaches. Yeah, I knew they were back there. Uh, they're fast, but uh, this is the car that we had last year. Um, we finally figured it out on these new, new tires. A little bit of tweaking left to go, but the car's fast. Um, Got to thank my sponsors, Aspen Hill Farm, LNS Equipment, Delivery Solutions LLC, Jeans Ford and Chevy, P2 Perry Powder Coating, and I just added a new one tonight, Kobos Landscaping. So without them, I couldn't do this. And my crew, my father, my aunt, my uncle, my sister, um, I don't want to forget anybody. Uh, Lenny, he's coming out here from Aspen Hill Farm. He's got an autistic child that loves the, loves the sport, and I couldn't have done a better job for him. Jeremy, the competition's been awful tough this year. I mean, did you feel the heat from the 88 there at the end? I know we're all within a couple of tents. Uh, you can see it in our practice times. So to get out front first is huge. Um, to keep them behind you is something else. So uh, I knew they were breathing down my neck. I, I had a rear view. I didn't flip it up, so I saw them right there. <laughs> NASCAR limited late model driver Jeremy Lavoie goes to victory lane in car number six. Let's go over and talk to Jeff McConey with the next two drivers. I'm here with Dwayne Provost, started from fourth, finished second. First off, how was the car? You were beating on the back bumper, but you couldn't quite get there. How do you feel? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, the car was good. I just had, I need a little bit more to get around Jeremy. He was uh, holding it pretty tight and uh, couldn't get around him. Uh, I got him a little loose there, tried to tried to get by him, but he held on. So, uh, you know, the uh, we finished the race in one piece, and uh, that's all we can ask for. Absolutely. Do you think you're going to take this to victory lane the next couple of weeks? Uh, actually, uh, I'm actually going to be on vacation uh, the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're going uh, out of the country, and uh, I just wanted to uh, lead the points for a little while this year, and uh, did that. And uh, I'll be back uh, after I get back, and uh, certainly uh, looking for some winning some races. Absolutely. A little rest and relaxation, and then plenty of that after he's settling out in victory lane. Congratulations on a second place finish. Who do you have to thank tonight? I want to thank uh, Joe Kozdiel, uh, Polka Pop Pits, good friend of mine, uh, JollyJoeK.com. I want to thank Team Lincoln Ludlow, and I want to thank um, uh, <laughs> my third sponsor, Michael Ficini, Ficini Law Firm in Springfield. And, uh, of course, uh, thank you to all the military and military appreciation night. Uh, thank you for your service. And uh, everyone else at the track, uh, have a good night. Dwayne Provost with a second-place finish. And in third place, we had Gary Pattenode, handshake exchange to the second-place finisher. Went from second to third. How was the car tonight? Car was good, a uh, little bit loose. I knew I had to hold those guys off. I thought we had one finally, and uh, Jeremy got by me, and Dwayne's always right there, ready to pounce, you know, how that goes. So I feel as though we gave another one away tonight. Fastest car in second practice. Um, I just need a little more experience to hold that man Jeremy off, and uh, it'll start happening, so. I'd like to thank everybody that helps me, the whole RRC race guys. Um, time was garage. Mike and Connie, they're in the stands tonight. Guys, I wish I had one win for you tonight. Uh, God, there's so many people. GP Fence, Pizza Pete. Who else is on that car? I don't even know. Unique Pavers, Carl with new Unique Pavers. They all help me out, and uh, we're getting there. Absolutely. Gary Patton, out of third place finish. Let's throw it back to the booth with Ben and Matt.